Zen Market. So Zen Market is nice because it's very easy to set up and use. The sad thing about Zen Market is that um, with items that you buy, they don't uh, show up for you. So $231. For this item. Pig not found. <laughs> so you can kind of guess what it is based off of the price right here. So item for error one was two hundred and thirty-one dollars, and this was for the Ranger Apprentice books. So Kino Kunia has a benefit of having free shipping, however, their books can be kind of expensive. So it could be useful to compare the two. You have to know that Kino Kunia, if you buy enough books, you do get free shipping. Fifty dollars looks like the amount they want. So that is definitely a pro for Kinokuniya. The pro for Zen Market though is that you can buy used items, which you can't do with Kinokuniya, and you can get it by other people. So like the Adaru Senki, which is the Ranger Apprentice book, specifically this 14 set right here, has this came with this box even. Uh, the box was actually not good quality. Uh, so right here, if you had a member price, it'd be $284. Um, and right over here, it was $231. Uh, also, the ship this item, so that, that would, let's say, just those books would probably be at least $50 to ship it. So, price-wise, it is about equal if you're getting Adudu Senki versus buying them from Zen Market. It could be worth it to do either one, depending on if you have the member's price. Uh, Kinokuniya will be a lot faster. You'll be getting it as it says. 12 to 15 work days. Uh, with Zen Market, the uh, the cheapest shipping takes about two months plus one week or two weeks. So basically, you'll get it before three months if you get it from Zen Market compared to getting it in two weeks. Another issue with Kino Kuniya is sometimes they'll list items that they do not have. Um, for example, Kino Kuniya does not have out of print books. If a book is no longer in print, Kino Kuniya does not have it. I believe the Ranger Apprentice books are currently in print, so most likely they do have these books. But like, for example, the so for example, books by Tamara Pierce are no longer in print. I believe all of them are no longer in print. So Circle of Magic, for example, we see right here that we have book four, Bard's book, right here. But we don't have book one, book two, or book three. Why is that? Well, I asked my mom to get me book one, two, and three from Kino Kuniya, so they took them off their website and went, whoopsie daisies, we don't have those books. So they are not checking their catalog. They most likely do not have any of these books because none of these books are in print. However, something like Percy Jackson is in print. However, they're quite a bit more expensive on Kino Kuniya than if you're buying them used dish on Amazon or other places. So there is that difference. So basically, if you are buying a book that is relatively new, like for example, Murder Bob. Murder Bob. With Kino Kuniya, you have to start the Japanese name of the book. So right here, you can get the Murder Bob books for about, it looks like $30. This is a very okay price. You're not really going to get these cheaper on Zen Market. Especially if you include shipping. Because shipping is $30 at Zen Market. So with these two books, you got the $30. And then you need $20 more in order to get the free shipping on Kino Kuniya. So you just need like one more book. So yeah, if you're getting like four-ish new books, Kino Kuniya is probably the way to go. But you really want to double check. Like, I can just right now check the Murderbot Diaries. So as you can see, they're going to be $10. Because they're relatively new books. And no one here is looks like they're obviously selling um, a set. We should be getting two books for one. They sh they, someone will be eventually. But that's more likely to happen at the Y auctions area, which is not showing up because people who buy Murderbot like Murderbot. It is a good book. So, um, so right here, this one right here looks like a set from Amazon, which is good. So you could, it looks like, get it for... $20 here and then it'd be about $30 to ship it here and then you know the $3 with it so that makes it you know about $50 for the book compared to buying on Kino Kuniya you get the two books plus two more books for the same price so if it's a new book you should probably get it at Kino Kuniya 
if it's a book that is old or you're trying to buy a set, Zen Market is probably your best bet. Well, I have just gotten a notification in an email that all of my packages have arrived at the Zen Market warehouse. So then you have to go over and say what you want. I just put everything inside one bag and did the surface standard packaging, which takes about two to three months. Exactly, it takes two months plus two weeks. Like, or one month, two months plus one week. It's about that much, depending on like chance, basically. Um, and I just kind of didn't click anything for there because I didn't need any of that. And you just click create package and you're like, wow, your package has been created. Um, after a package has been created, it'll take about a day or so for them to send you a second email. Um, and while they're packing, it's going to be packing in progress. Uh, but once you get a second email, it's going to say your parcel is ready and you can click that and it'll bring you over to your account where you can um, basically pay for your package. So they weighed it and they're like, okay, you owe $81.50 uh, for your shipping your package because yes, it weighs a lot. And um, I didn't have that much money on my account, so I had to add some funds. Adding funds is super duper easy. You just click the add funds button, do PayPal. It said it was like the deposit fee was like the best, I mean the same for either way. And just type in how much money you need to add. It'll tell you how much they're charging you in US dollars or whatever money you use. And then automatically they'll just have your money. We don't have to like wait or something for them to like receive like the money and like convert it or something weird so now you can just pay and then you're basically done um if you have a promo code you put it in there i guess um and then then it's going to take about a day or so for them to actually ship the product so you're going to get an email saying they've sent all your package and a tracking number um, you need to wait a day or so for the tracking really to update. So right when you click it, it's going to look a little weird. It's going to look like this, which, you know, isn't what you want to see. But just ignore that. For also, when you'll be notified if you got cash back. So in this case, I got cash back just because this was Zen Market's deal they were doing. And you can click and see how much money you got back. I only got $11 back on an order that I paid $300 for. So cash back's not really worth it obviously. Uh, I keep an eye out for that 25% off shipping uh, event to do sometimes. That would be a lot more worth it. <laughs> uh, so I'll check it a couple days later. And um, this is what it's going to look like, you know, post and touch collection. There's actually one more step that happens after this that I forgot to record, which is the arrival at Outward Exchange and Dispatch. So it's been about two months and we finally reached the United States. So you see this right here didn't have anything added on it until two months later here um august 24th and um it's going to take a couple of it for it to go through customs but i believe it should be here in about a week and i have received my box uh zen market they um the way how each individual book is packed um i do not believe zen market does that i believe whoever you ordered it from japan when they packaged it to Zen Market. They keep it how it was packaged, so like the the wrap, like the basic wrapping, and then they put it all in one box and add bubble wrap and some paper for padding. Uh, so that's why like every book has slightly different, um, I guess you say waterproofing, because they basically used uh, just what was already used for the product. Uh, which is just something I thought to mention. Uh, for example, last time I got from the Zen Market, I bought three books from the same person. They were all bought separately, so each one had three dollars on it, which kind of sad. If if I was like really smart, I would have like contacted that specific person, and be like, "Hey, could you put all these into one uh, eBay order?" Then it would only be three dollars rather than like nine dollars for all the books. But anyway, that person uh, put them all in little Ziploc bags, which was very cool. Uh, so this time everything was in some kind of steel-like substance, uh, which it be, with it diff with being a little different depending on the product. Um, but yeah, the bubble wrap part was um, Zen Market. Uh, 
when um, for for this product um, I had to sign off for it um, I do not remember if I had to do that with the other one but this was a really big box so it did not fit in my mailbox anyway so um, but they did make a sign for it so sometimes if something doesn't fit in your mailbox you can just pick it up and you don't have to sign for it uh, but this was a sign for it because <laughs> this was like three hundred dollars worth of books because 30 books times 10 is 300 it's kind of how so I actually made okay for how much I spent huh. 